Hey, people. I got y'all some good stuff. I got one of the world's oldest fart jokes. And I found some writings that explain some of these hand signs that they don't have a clue. And uh, they also explain some about new here. And some of this Egyptian writing. And I found a couple old books that help explain this. You see how they're, they're passing the torch. This is by the Professor Emeritus of Latin in Harvard. And this is a, a good one here. The, the conjugation of the Greek verb. And it tells off some stuff. And this Latin grammar is going to give us a better idea of, uh, of who Mother Mary, what that means. And these are all old books. You can find them on, on Google Books for free. The Latin grammar for schools and colleges. But it's in this birth of Jesus. And it's just this line 18 through 25. But I'm going to read it off of this other one here. So you can see the, the equivalents. The Latin equivalents. But let me start here with the conjugation of the Greek verb. Made easy for the use of schools. According to the professor Theorish system uh, developed in his German Greek grammar and this is uh, 1833 and I was looking for some help on this itai e-t-a-i it to it to make in Strong's they say it means in the future and it kind of fits with the way I read it and if you just google it you'll see it come up and, and hit translator and you see that many times it'll come up as the company the company and that's also fits you know as a verb it's it's it to make you know something you need to put on your to-do list it to make means in the future I need to do this and a company is also is it to make et it to eta it to I to make is what a company does but he has it here in the conjugation of the indicative you know the to indicate if in the principal tense as you can see it here in the future tense but it's what he said before this I wanted to show you it was here in this note you know through through Macedonian conquest in Asia some of the nations who had formerly spoke oriental languages had become acquainted with the Greek tongue induced to write in Greek while they continued to think in their native tongues they created a Greek dialect with Hebrew Syriac Chaldaic terms of expressions and many peculiarities which proceed partly from the Macedonian mode of speech. In this dialect, which we find the Septuagint, you know, that's the Old Testament Greek that I read, and the New Testament. And so when he says that, uh, you know, in their native tongues, and they create a Greek dialect with Hebrew, you know, the, the Hebrew word for the Hebrew language is British. You know, the Brit, the covering is in the Brit, the Brit, British. And so British was the language and English were the people. That's why in this video, uh, ancient Greek is easy. Gotcha. He says, this is a, a Greek biblical scholar. He says 33% of the words in the Hebrew Bible are only used one time and never again in any other writing. So the people who wrote this, they spoke Greek about as well as I do. So back in the day when paper was expensive, you know, they wrote on vellum, and they often did their writing carving in rock. You try to get the most out of your carving, you know. And so they had, they had ways of piecing words together to, to get the most out of it. And so O-U is who. And so T-O-U is to who. And, and a D-E is the same as we put a posh v D-E today. To who would. And then in order to get more out of your writing, this this mark here has you read this backwards and forwards. And this vav is, you know, it's the W, the V, and the U. And it's the wash. And to who would wash? And then back the other way, itches. Itches of. So, you know, he, he's needing a bath or needing his laundry done, you know. To who would wash itches of? Cries to... He Genesis out as in. And so Genesis, you know, in the beginning was the word. They say that Genesis is the beginning, but, but Genesis is the origin or mode of formation of something. You know, that's the where it's from, the origin or mode of formation. And so, you know, the beginning is the word. 
And so to who would wash itches of cries to he Genesis in in the beginning of the formation, not the birth, but in the beginning of the formation, out is is on. And so this is on, there's different ons, and this one's H N is in divide cycle, and it means, you know, of a time. At that time, a time it came about. And so this this word itches of it is spelled three different ways and you see it at the bottom. You know, it's now it ends with an N and it goes with this this U here, the Vav W when wash itches on. And so he done learned his lesson ek E K is L of of a lesson to on whom what to when wash itches on. And so the story is it's telling a, a story about him wanting somebody to do the washing. And by the end of the story, he, le he learned his lesson to on whom what to ought to wash his own. And then this having been pledged, you know, the M is from. And from, from nest who with this has. From nest, from nest who with this has you know they're saving a, a bunch of carving in stone by putting all this in one word from nest to with this has having been pledged the woman you're living with those meter has what to marry as to you know the a meter a parking meter you know it's counting the time the meter and so you can find a bunch of writings about this in this Latin grammar. It's a big book, but it's way down here in this writing of, of music, of music and poetry. And it talks about the feet. You know, the, the feet are the beats in a bar and music. And so there's many, many types of beat. The different rhythms are meters. And so the meter is a measure. It's the definite measurement of verse by feet, lines, strophes, systems, etc. You know, what meter it's played in. And so strophes, you know, they tell us it means to turn. And so, you know, that's what we call the, the turnaround. You know, 12 bar blues. And that on that last meter, we're gonna have the we're gonna have the turnaround. And and so that's where the turn comes from. And you know, we're playing in a jam session and, and we're all playing together. And everybody takes a strophe. Everybody takes a turn. Everybody else kicks back and let the drummer come in and, and play his meter. You know, then let the lead come in and play his meter. Everybody takes a turn. The horn will take a strophe. And that's where that comes from is the turn. And so a, a catastrophe, you know, is a kata according to the turn. A catastrophe. And it means in, in meter, in its time. It means that it, it's in, in a cycle. It happens over and over. The catastrophe, according to turn, and that's where this having been pledged, you know, from nest to with this says this time, this meter as this time as ought to marry as to, and then the two reads twice, and I'll explain that more this iota script uh, later down here. And so none of these names in the Bible are names. You know, the name was to who would wash itches, itches of. You know, the name is somebody who's needing some washing is the name. And so this is to fess, you know, to confess, to fess how, O-I is how, to fess how as chipperin as chipperin to fess how is chipperin why he's so happy he soon will let they in he soon will tell them you know what to us the wretch in the wretch in you know the w r e t c h the wretch in gastry excusa you know e x is exodus exo to out outer you know, the out ex excuse uh, of pneumatos, a Jew. And, you know, so the gastry is not the womb. The gastry is your gastric system. It's everything between your mouth and your butt. And to exo, to out 
us to out user the gastria out user the, the back end of pneumatic is pressure all my pneumatic tools they run off of air pressure pressure aju and aju is a french word meaning cooked out of you know aju sauce is the sauce that's cooked out of the meat to fess how as chipper in sooner let they in what to us the wrath in gastry excusa of the new matos a Jew, you know the Holy Spirit, the air pressure cooked out of. It's talking about a fart here. The Holy Spirit is a fart, and so fess fess is also you know to put the blame on, to fess how as shifted shift to shift the blame to see honor you know the honor is is uh is on her and and it's and it's the honor you know that you have the honor of to see honor of this and then the key the same is here this key is just evolve and it's the secret of the key i put that in another movie but uh the Greeks and the Danes they all knew the key meant meant this the secret of the key and the secret is it's a valve you just replace that with a valve and so now it's the divas the righteous the divas you know divas on devotion d-i-v-o-s-o-n devotion too much they'll on authentic you know authenticate authen digimati say and that's in the, this book of the Chironomia, the art of manual rhetoric, rhetoric. In the canons of rhetoricians touching the artificial manage of hand and speaking, you know, that's what it's, it's talking about. It has all these codes of what they really mean in their hand signs. You know, the indigit at, and that's what the politicians do, you know. They go to pointing that finger and there's three pointing back at them. And so these gestures have many meanings. You know, it's, it's, it's also a, a 300, the vowel, or the indico. In this gesture is an expressive command direction. A gesture of the hand most demonstrative. The finger being called index. And hence some of the heathen gods were called de indigiti because it was unlawful to name them or point them out as it were with his finger the force of his finger is pointing out men of note and quality poets and historians the accurate observers of the natural expressions of the fingers do everywhere acknowledge in their writings alluding thereunto you see this is festus fessius and I'll leave you the link to this book. They uh, go on about what all the ancient writers had to say about this. It's, uh, it's a lot on the meaning of each finger. So these writings are just poetry, and they're going to scramble all around. But it's, it says, you know, the fess how as, as shift. To see honor of this. Devotion to much tell on authentic, the authenticity to authenticate it. Did ye Maddie say the vowel hath let her a rattle a poly say of then. You know it's not secretly when you holler out let her rattle before you fart you know it's you're not trying to make it secretly. You see most of these words will have the definition the word beside it where they have purposely changed the language. And that's why no Greeks can read this. But the vowel half, that's a spoken word. You know, before language, it was just grunted consonant sounds before vowels. And that's how vowel became known as the spoken word or the vowel. The vowel half. The vowel half, let her rattle. A poly, a many say of then. Taught to head ought to. In tomb heathen twos, the hand of haggle as carry you, cat to honor. You know this uh, this symbol out here tells me to read this next word up to the O. 
and then started the O again. So the O reads twice. The cat to honor. The fane what to. You know the fane means to go along happily. The fane what to. And then backwards. Twa. A legend. The three a legend. Fists. How as chief goes. Vios goes. Divide much. Forbith, you know, forbidden, forbith hath, have of, says peril, Levine. You know, peril, you know, is, is in danger. And Levine is joined, to join, Hebrew word to join. In peril, Levine, in danger to join. Marion, then Gonna Ica, Gyna, not wife, but the I K I, you know, the Gyna they say is wife, but the I K is like, I mean, wife like. Then the wife like so, you know, so plant your seed. To Gar in Othit. And Gar is the word for boy or son. And to Gar in Othit. Watch, you know, W A C H, to watch Genitin of Numato's East In. And then this has a, a mark up here. Tell me just to read this one time backwards. Voyage. And so this is new, and this is how they spelt it with three N's. And, uh, and this, the, the N, the first N is N, the second one is Knee. As in the first R is Ra, the second one is Re, as in do it again, Re up, to do it again. And the third one is Ru, as in Peru, the third house. And so this how, this is all it takes to write new, is these three ends. And this here, the, uh, the Egyptologists, they got it screwed up, but this is a pot. And three pots is pot tree, pot, potry, arch, pat, patriarch. Patriarch means the father knew. Patriarch, the father knew. You know, and knew is a primordial, primordial waters in the abyss where the creation was made. And no cult is addressed to, to knew, but he is typically depicted in ancient Egyptian art as holding aloft the, the solar bark or the sun disk. You know, he's usually holding up the whole sky, is what they're saying. And so they got this, they got this kind of screwed up saying this is a new, but this is a pot. And this is the arch, you know, and it represents a bed, or it represents night, or it rep rep represents the night sky. And it's also where you, the same place the word naked come from, night and naked come from the same basic word. But it's the new, and it means the high waters, you know, the highest part of the flood. And the flood come in to renew. You know, it bring in all the soil and renew the fields. And so the Greeks got this screwed up thinking this is an N, but all the other languages knew that this was an X. In beginning in the Middle Kingdom, Nu is described as the father of the gods, the patriarch. The patriarch, Nu. And so they got his sign erased here. They didn't want us to see this. And this is the counterpart, Nuet. And you see how that's where your E-T-T-E -T -T -E come from. You know, uh, meaning feminine. The patriarch, Nuet. But you can see that she has an X on hers. On her sign, her seal. And she's brown, and he's blue. And he's, and he's the, the moist air. She's the dry air. And so the toast on the end, that means, you know, able, the ability. And ma is that which is from. And so it would read, you know, that which is from the air ability. East in, the destined, the, the future, voyage. And then the, the text it to make. You know, that word I talked about at the beginning, meaning in the future, it to make. And so the text, you know, is the T is the mark of the X. 
the mark of the exit to make had go on. And that makes me think that he had the blue X. She's got the red X of the hot, dry air. And he's got the blue X of the cool, moist air. And the text it to make had go on, Vion, go on, to Cali sees to. Cali is, that's your word for good. They, uh, they often put the wrong word for good. But this is, this is the word for good. This comes from the ancient god Kala. And it means time. And that's where your word calendar come from. The cal in the time in dar means to give. You know, dar is to give. The time in give is the calendar. It's also the name of a deity in which sense it is not always distinguishable from kala meaning black. And black it means good, in the good. You know, when you're in the red, you don't have enough money at the end of the month to pay the bills. If you're in the black, you're in the good. And that's when it has the feminine for it ending in the I, the Kala, the Kali. You know, a Kala is the fixed point of time, and the Kali is the good, the black. And the text it to make had go on. To Kali seas, to the good seas, to on whom art to, and the W, you know, the Vav, the W goes to the N, when wash each his own. The mark of the exit to had a go on, to Kali seas, to on whom art to wash, um, on whom art to when wash each his own. You know, our twos, you know, is is of ability. Toes, ability. You know, you ought to because you have the ability. What what has, you know? You have the ability. The boys so see it on. And Leo, you know, Leo is the people. And Leo is the, the writer of the art of war. Leo Zoo, the people's command. You know, the lay on. The lay on ought to, the people on ought to, a wait on, a po, a way, t, a wait on. And a Martian, you know, shun, t i o n, it makes a, a noun out of a verb. And so that means, you know, the amar is a verb. And that's a word that comes from Hindu and Arabic. You know, meaning long life is where your word immortal comes from. You know, Amar, Arabic, alive, pious, immortal. And that's why you get baptized, you know, to immerse, immerse you, to have the long life. The text it too had go on. Too good sees, too kale sees too. On whom ought to, when wash each his own, of ability, do sun gar so see, the sun so see it on, lay on what to await on, a motion of the long life, what on. So a motion is. You know, the, the act of making one immortal. And you see immortal in this same category. Uh, you know, immortal. Immortal how. And they say that sinners too. And so for anybody who didn't know this, it, they've known it thousands of years. You know, but a new study reveals that smelling your partner's farts is the secret to a longer life. Possibly the weirdest study ever published in the Journal of Medical Chemistry. Ah, it ain't nothing new. If you could just read ancient Greek, you would have already known this. To what to had? Along, along, L-O-N-G, along the gone in. To what to had along the gone in. Hind, behind you. Plero, more than, more than one. The pleuro, and then THT, that, and then whore, 
you know that the, the, this THT the T ends with an H it's a tit, TH that whore H-O-R help the more than one the plural the more than one that whore help too and then this one's got the mark here just tells you read this backwards you know neither neither hypo neither under carry you through to dia through to the profit to is more as the pro means for the forfeit to through to you through to forfeit to legiantos the ability of the legiantos somebody who has allegiance you know the ability the legio is is the command the command on the the legion is the is the command on toes the command on toes the legiantos the your soldiers you know the ones that you give you the ability of command and then this line 23 you see the quotation marks is broken down into two quotes here and this this first quote comes all the way here to the end of Emmanuel and then the second quote is just these last three four words and so it has the mark here so it's wood w-o-d and so it's the wood hand of wood hand of he part the nose in gastry hex they what he pinches nose off when they fart in the gastry hex they and so this part the nose this is also the Parthion it's in the same it's in the same category as the word Parthion the Parthenon you know Parthenon that's a house of the gods in Greek or Egypt has a Parthenon too so Parthenos are inhabitants of the Parthenon and would hand of he part the nose the Parthenon in the gastry hex they to text it to go on to callous who's in to the callous who's in to, to the good who's in to on whom ought to lou on name mem manual the waters manual the lou on name mem manual and so this this mem here that means waters you know the mem believed to be derived from the egyptian hieroglyph symbol for water simplified by the phoenicians name after their word for water mem the phoenician word mem you know it's the 13th letter you have 13 moons a year it gave rise to the greek mu so the hand of part the nose you know they got a certain way that they uh, pinch their nose off and meditating but from reading the rest of this you know I know he's joking he's talking about these meditation hands you know the hand to pinch your nose off when your buddy farts would hand he part the nose in gastry hex day and text it to go on and callous who's into on whom ought to will alone name mem man of hell so what parts the nose is called a septum you know is a cartilage in the nose it separates the nostrils and septum is also the word for 70 that would be here the, the hand you use the two fingers you use to pinch your nose off the hand of septum you know, wherein the thumb is depressed by the upper finger. We skip on down here, which made the number 70 and 17. And a philosopher standing by Tritonades inquires of her what arithmetic might mean by those postures of her fingers. To whom Pallas she salutes Jova, Jova, Jupiter. She salutes Jupiter by his proper name. And indeed, the manual number 70. The manual number 70 was the ancient posture of adoration, which was the saluting finger, 
laid over thwart the thumb, made more apparent by Pilius speaking of the odors of Venus. Many of these numerical postures of the fingers are found in the statues of the ancients. Wood backwards, wood hand, wood yod of he part the nose. In gastry hex they too. Text it too. You know, text, the, the text, the numbers. Vion, good to go on. To callous who's in. To the, the good is who's in. To on whom ought to alone name Mem. Manuel, the man, man who hell, man of hell. Oh, Estin, oh, Estin, you know, future destined. Oh, Estin met with her much new. Met her much new. With her much new omen on. And then this is the quote here, the meth. And it has the marks. You read this H twice. You know, met is with, but this is the meta and it's within the meta common us you know we're the commoners the meta common see the o's within common see the o's and so the o's gods those are the planets the ones that circle around the o's then this is backwards and forwards and so it's sieta you know s-i-e-t-h S-I-E-T-E Sieta Seven Reggi Seven Kings Girth this Girth to go around this Girth go around Seven Kings go around this Had see Fess how As shift As shift away To who Upon who The po itches in the po which is in the po the po is the mouth and itch is in means thinking you know when people are trying to when poets are trying to dream up a story they always scratch around their mouth and it's because they did a survey and your brain starts to overload when you're trying to create a story and scratching around the face area to helps unload so you can think more and that's why the word of creation and all that is always the poetches, the poets. And the mouth itches in as. It means he's dreaming up of a story. He's thinking. The poetches as force taxing had commanded force taxing. What two? Three. Three. What two? Twa. And then the Omega is end. What to three and C haggle as carry you to peril of in, to peril of in, to danger of in, then gyna like, then wife like, what to the wake, W O U K, woke. This is the word for woke where they put woke up here. Haven't been awoken. This haven't been awoken as the seven kings. Sieta Regi, the seven kings girth this, go around this. That's being awoken if you if you think the earth is the center. But this is woke. W-O-U-K. The woke again asking, asking, asking. Often, you know, authenticity. To authenticate. The often those of, and so this isn't the taken. The E K is is L, and so it's the telling. And so that's when you knew and of the telling, go on. And this is a uh, the vav W, E K is the L A. Will a lesson to on whom, what to when wash each his own. So if you look in this Berean Bible, got this little letter A here coming out at the bottom. And it'll tell you this story is here again in Isaiah 7.14. And so we can see it again here in the Hebrew. Liken it in 
in the day. Who looks to, you know, who looks twa, the three, a sign, the twa, then hold them, you know, a hold them, a holograph. The hold them here willed it been to fart, F R A T, and, sh- and she'll call to fart. The same to omen will, W then backwards, L A, the omen will, the Emmanuel. But if we look at this name, Joseph, in the Hebrew, you know, it's most of the time it's read backwards and forwards with this tack here. And it's the Pishu. Pishu is an ancient word for the cat, the Pishu. And said, and yammer, parole Pishu, let the cat out of the cage. And yammer parole pishu. Let the cat out. And if you search for the oldest Trinity symbol, you'll see it's got a lion in there. And the second oldest, it'll say felis in there. As in feline, cat, the feline, and the potter, the patriarch, new. In this corner, we have the fart. And if we look at the Narmer palette, we can see again that, you know, we have shoe here. He's got this Greek pie, P, in the shoe. And so P is, the piss, P-I-S is behind you, who stands behind you in the Greek. And it means the guy who stands behind you and holds your shoes while you're stomping ass, I guess. Here, hold my shoes while I stomp this ass. So there is no Jesus in the writing. You know, there's, Joseph is Pishu. It's the guy standing behind you. He's the cat. And all these gynas in here, that means pussy. Pussy cat. And we see it here in the in the Greek in chapter Genesis 2 when God makes woman. You know, let us make for him a helper according to is a bonton cat. A bonton. Let the good times roll. Bonton. The good times cat. Bonton cat, Bonton roule is the good times roll. A Bonton cat is the good time cat. And his wife was the Gyna. G Y N H G U N H, the Gyna. And on this page, too, in the Hebrew, you know, in the, the creation of man, in this first line, the creation of man, it's the first time they use this word, this word. Jehovah, they say Yahweh. It's the first time this gets used. It's the ones they say is Lord in the or to carry you in uh, in the Greek. But this is the closest word you're gonna find to Eve. You know, to make E V E, to make Eve. And then in the Hebrew, you know, it's it's the make him a helper suitable is a loser. King do K N G. Do a loser king do, and this creation of woman, you know, is is who pill you, who pull you, mile lamiel. You know, it's reading backwards starts with the A, is a mile. You hit the wall and read all this backwards again, so it's the mile lamiel. Lamiel is the name for Lucifer. Lamiel, evil. E V E I L, the evil pie, the evil mouth, what trade me all made heads. Who Jessen wife, W I F E is the word for he took. Who Jessen wife, they mix lot to. You know, Lamiel mix, mix lot with wife. Who sugar. Ensure that in, and when and when Adam went to name her and said, "Adam, this now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, this one shall be called lies at make for this give maze a fuck to that." So there's a good chance you know that when this word Joseph reads backwards here, it's it's P shoe, you know, instead of a Q, it's P, which they do that often. They switch the P and the Q up, however they like, and usually it's just to confuse you. But it, 
is po possibly, you know, P E A C O I. You know, this S is the same as the, the Hebrew Shin, you know, it's S H, the P Shu. And so, uh, when I was a kid, you know, my dad, when something stunk, he always said P Shu. Pinch his nose and said P Shu. And I'm curious, you know, does, does anybody else use that word? Or is that, is that man that somebody down the line was in the know? Alright, this is the longest one I've did in a while. I'm going to cut this off here. Good day.